Hey, this is Daniel, and uh, let's play some more Slam Bots. Last time I played, uh, you saw, you know, you start out with this uh, guy in this little contraption that lets him slam onto things. Uh, the entire level is made up of of these four platforms. Three right now because one of them just disappeared. All right, it's back. Here's four platforms and uh, you just bounce on them. Uh, they sometimes crumble away, so if you bounce on them, they fall apart. And eventually they'll come back. And uh, these bad guys just come out of thin air. You bounce on them when they have wings. You bounce on them and they fall to the ground. And you bounce on them again to kill them. And you want to watch out for the fire. This guy has a helmet, so he gets an extra hit before he loses his wings. And you'll see some of these guys, this guy turned red. If they sit on the ground for too long, they turn red and grow wings and they start flying up. Uh, if they get high enough, uh, you can bounce on them when they're up here and collect some extra coins. Pretty good. Sometimes the uh, platforms turn into those springs that you just saw. That lets you bounce up and there's a... Oop. There is a set of coins at the top of the screen that you want to collect coins uh, so you can unlock new things in the game. So when you bounce up really high, you can grab those coins. Uh, when you collect all of the coins in that star shape, you don't want to hit that guy from the bottom. Uh, when you collect all the coins, they reset and they come back. Oh. And you can collect them again. Uh, if you get all of them, they give you a little bonus. And there's this stream of coins that flies by right up here. You need to kind of hit a guy to collect them, to bounce high enough to collect them. And uh, that power-up I just got was an ice, an ice power-up, and that just freezes all the bad guys that are on the screen. This guy, and then bounce up here, collect these coins. So I didn't get all of them. Uh, if I can get another jumpy thing here, a little trampoline, I can collect all of them. I get a little 4,000 point bonus. And this is basically just a high scoring game. You want to get as many points as possible without dying like I just did. And it just has basic tilt controls. Uh, you can see that as I tilt in the menu, the guy moves back and forth. Uh, when I tap, he gets his little contraption and he bounce up and down. Uh, I just died again. The power up I got at the beginning was a little TV screen, kind of reminiscent of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, it was a coin power-up, so that just made a bunch of coins fly out of the sky, which is pretty good, because you want coins. Uh, the high scores are just, you know, really for your own happiness. Uh, you can compete on leaderboards, but since everyone cheats on iOS leaderboards, it's almost pointless. So really what you want to get are the coins. Coins are how you unlock new things in the game. Just grab the helmet, get him again. Oh, got a double point. That was pretty lucky. Died from that fire. All right, and uh, I just got a power up as it loaded up, which is like um, a little battery battery sign. I guess that's a good time to explain that. Uh, when you are bouncing, if you hold down on the screen, if you touch with your finger, you will slam downwards like that. Doing that uh, gives you more points for when you land on a guy. And if you can land on several guys at once, you see combo two, combo three, combo four. Oh, and I died. power-up, which basically does nothing. I don't really think it's that useful in the game. 
guy and get rid of his wings. Sometimes those guys in the red, they just walk off the side of the screen and they're gone forever. On this guy, get two combos there, get a third, and a fourth, and a fifth. So you saw the fifth combo, I was up to 600 points. But if I were to slam on that guy, I get 200, 600, 600, 600 800, 1000. So the points, uh, the combos, if you're slamming, they give you a lot more points. But as you slam downwards, you see that gauge on the top right it decreases. Um, it starts out all green, and then as you use it, it depletes. Uh, so you'll see it, it's going down, just kind of like a Mega Man power meter. So eventually I won't be able to slam down. You can see I'm holding down the screen, but it's not doing much. And it just recharges eventually. Uh, you can level that up as you play longer in the game. And get more coins. Star power up. Probably gonna die really soon. So that uh, power up that I got before that was like a little battery symbol. That made it so for that time that the power-up was active, it didn't deplete my energy bar. My current upgrade level is... You can see it fills up with the green and then it goes halfway up with the yellow. Quite a bit of slamming you can do. Ooh, there's All right, you can see, yeah, your tells you your score, how many coins you earned. It seems like you earn a lot of coins uh, just you know, playing normally. But let's check out the store and see where you can use those coins. So you can buy extra characters. Uh, there's the Cyborg Orc, Cyber Pirates, Colin. It's a zombie called Colin. The Rogo, the Rogue Bot, and the Velocity Spider, uh, which is from another game. And I've already unlocked that one. That was 5,000 coins. So I have. 1700 coins right now, and let's just use the Velocity Spider. And you can get new bouncers with different slammers. Um, I've unlocked the Evil Cloud Slammer. It's a little more floaty, so you might see a little difference as the play. I could get 300 more coins and get this Prototype Mark II. Uh, it's really fast, I guess. I like the Evil Cloud because it's kind of floaty. Feels like you get more hair time. And there's these other power-ups. The uh, Dark Knight one, uh, it starts with a free shield, which I believe lets you get one extra hit before you die. But that's 10,000 coins, so I'm kind of saving up. And for the power-ups, there's the Slam Capacity. So it adds 50% to your, uh, your power meter. And since I have the coins, why don't I just upgrade that one? Confirm that. All right, so each upgrade adds another, basically a half a bar, which is pretty good. Uh, the Slam Recharger, hmm. Check that one out too later on. Uh, the Fruit Power-Up, when you get the fruit, uh, the cherry, it makes you invincible. It's just like getting a star in a lot of games. Uh, here's the Freeze Power-Up. I don't really care to upgrade that any farther just because who cares about that one. Uh, the Battery Power-Up, hmm. So the battery power will last three more seconds, so it'll give you unlimited uses. I don't know why I decided to upgrade that one two times. Uh, the coins power up, I think this is usually the better one to do in most games, just because uh, coins are what you use to improve your game, and if you can increase the amount of coins you get, uh, the more the better. So I think that one's actually a good one to upgrade as soon as you can. And the shield power up, there's only a single one you can get. Uh, it'll give you the shield, so it lets you get an extra hit, I think, for each game. And hmm, it's 5,000 coins, but I haven't had enough to get that. Uh, you can also get new new levels. Uh, we saw the Robot Factory was from the beginning, and uh, I recently unlocked the Jungle Swamp. So there's a little fire pit in the middle, and we might as well select that one right now. Uh, for 5,000 coins you get the Fire Temple, and that makes it so you can't bounce at all on the ground. So you have to rely on the platforms. 
Uh, you can see that from the little picture here, the platforms are arranged a little differently. I think that's just so you uh, have a little bit better chance of survival and you're not just avoiding the center at all times. In the jungle swamp, uh, above the fire pit, there is a platform that occasionally appears, uh, but it only takes a single bounce for it to go away. So sometimes there's a little safety net. I'm not sure if the fire temple has that same feature, but we'll see if I get to 5,000 coins. Uh, in here, you can like their page and get 100 coins for free, which, you know, that's like one playthrough, so if you want to do that, go ahead. Uh, you can buy a coin doubler for three bucks. I think three bucks is maybe like the, kind of the limit for a lot of people. Uh, there are some games that charge like five dollars for a coin doubler, and it seems like nobody really wants to bite on that one. For a dollar, it's almost like an instant, instant purchase. Uh, three bucks, mm, only some people get it, I guess. Or you can just buy your way through the game and buy a bunch of coins. Ten bucks gives you forty thousand. That'll unlock pretty much anything in the store. So let's go back to the game. You see the screen has changed, and I am the Veloci Spider. And I have the Cloud Power Up, or the Cloud Slammer. So you can see that kind of bounces me a little bit better. I'm a little more floaty. And you see that platform in the middle there that is so I can get a little extra bounce in there before I die in the fire pit. So you can see the gameplay is basically the same, except you can't fall in the center there in the fire. Whoa! See that guy? You know, the way the game plays, you can just, you know, just restart a game really quickly. So it encourages a lot of replay. Bounce up. Ours. I didn't see the 4,000 coin bonus, or the 4,000 point bonus there, so I'm not sure if I actually got all the coins in that star. You just have to be careful, you don't want to accidentally fall into the pit in the center. A lot of times, in this case, you are bouncing on these guys. Oh yeah, I guess I did clear it that first time. So if there's no safety net at the bottom and you jump on a guy like that and he's kind of in the middle, he's gonna just fall straight into that pit. Just like that. Fire. All right, I got a new new high score in this level. It keeps track of your high scores on a per level basis. My high score in that first level is something like 200,000. I don't know how I got that. It was in some kind of daze. So you can see whenever the platform starts shaking, that's when the platform is either going to catch on fire or it's going to give a power up. So you don't want to just take your chances and land on it. Seeing it first. Alright, so the fire is gone so I can finally jump on that platform without dying. There will be some other guys that show up. So there's the yellow guys, the red guys, and then sometimes they come out looking purple. And I think they just move faster. Whoa, I don't... And then some of the guys, they have helmets or something. Ooh. Watch out for the fire. And so they take an extra bounce and uh, eventually there's a guy who has an uh, extra hard helmet or something so he takes two bounces before you can crush his helmet or 
crush his head. Getting the battery power up is kind of pointless uh, early in the game, but you don't have any choice of the matter uh, which ones show up first or not. But when there's not a lot of enemies, you're not really slamming that often anyway. See that guy just now? He just walked off the side of the screen because he's done with this game. So when there's a bunch of guys on the screen, you can usually get a lot of combos. Busy trying to not die. So I get the star and see that just kills people. Well, not the star, the, uh, the cherry. That just kills guys automatically. One bounce, you can even hit him from the bottom. I'd like to get to a point where you can see the purple guys. And I'm not sure if it just depends on how long you play or how high a score you get. Yeah, again, the freeze power-up is kind of pointless. The guys just don't move. And uh, the tilt controls in this game are actually really good. They're really precise. I feel like, uh, you know, I can zig and zag, you know, around these guys without dying. Usually if I die, it's, you know, it's my own, my own fault. Or if a guy is just appearing like that. down. So even if a guy is really far off screen, you can keep a tab on him. So you're not just like flying blind. You know, the guy doesn't, doesn't just uh, fly out of the sky and land on your head. I do kind of wish the Velocity Spider's head would move. You know, he always just faces left. Seems kind of half-assed, but a lot of the a lot of things about this game are really nice. It's uh, really simple, really fun. I mean, some of the things I've already purchased in the game cost, you know, several thousand coins and I've already unlocked them. So, yeah, you get a lot of coins pretty quickly. Of course, you can get them faster if you buy the coin doubler, but I feel like this is fast enough. So jump on these guys. I got quite a combo going right now. So if I do the slam, you can see I'm getting like a ton of points for that. 4,000 points just for killing a dude. Oh, there's a purple guy. Got to him too fast. One thing, if you're trying to, ooh, if you're trying to get a good combo, uh, and there's uh, various dudes just uh, running around on the bottom, and there's a guy who's red, go after somebody else. Uh, wait till he sprouts wings, and then you'll get an extra hit because you uh, he'll get the wings and then he'll fall down when you land on him, and so you, he basically allows extra hit. Then sometimes you just slam yourself right into the fire. So when I started this and I went into the store, you, know, you saw I had like 1700 coins. I bought a couple upgrades to my power-ups. And already I'm up to like 1800 coins. So you can see how quickly you do earn them, especially if you're halfway decent at the game. Power up. Those are pretty good. Oh, I'm dead. So since I bought that uh, 
battery upgrade for my slammer, or for the slam thing, whatever it is. You can see the, the gauge on the right is fully yellow, so that's going to deplete. And there's then the green gauge. So I can be slamming until the cows come home. I'm sure that if you do really well in the game, you might even be slamming often enough to deplete that entire bar. Oh, I died again. For now, it seems like... Whoa. It seems like I'm not good at this game, at least not enough to deplete all of that energy in the slammer. But let's see how long it takes. You see as I was flying up and then back down, collecting those star coins, you get kind of a bonus if you can get all of them at one go. Uh, I know there's an achievement for getting that. Uh, got killed by the fire. And speaking of achievements, why don't we go check those out. So if you click on the leaderboards, see the robot factory. See, my high score in the Robot Factory is uh, 230,000, which is quite a bit higher than the other two people in my friend's leaderboard. Uh, the Jungle Swamp looks like, uh, from my friend's list, I'm the only one who's actually played enough to unlock that one. Oh. And so let's go back here, check out the achievements. Uh, so, you know, getting a 25x combo get you an achievement, so that means jumping on 25 guys before hitting the ground. It's pretty cool. Uh, the star coin bonus, clear the star and get a big score, so if you clear the whole star in one go, uh, you get that bonus. And uh, buying a shield gets you another achievement, but again that's 50 or 5,000 coins. Oh, here it is, the star mega bonus. It says clear the star in one jump. So that gets you uh, an achievement if you get all those in one go. If you get the star cleared out three times in one game, that's another achievement, which uh, clearly I have not got yet. Uh, and then this one, the Mind the Gap, that requires uh, the Fire Temple level. Fire Walker, I wonder if that just involves bouncing on a guy as he's falling into it. Basically a lot of these unlock as you play, so it's not really uh, much of a test of skill. Uh, some of these are though, like using 10 power-ups in a game. That basically just involves surviving long enough uh, for 10 power-ups to appear. And let's just do another round. Kind of want to try the other slammers, but... Maybe I should save up for the 10,000 coin one. It has a shield built into it. Ooh. Sometimes that happens. So what I did is I just held down the slam button. So I didn't jump up onto that platform, because if I had, oh, I would have bounced right under that guy and I, I would have died. But I died really quickly anyway. Uh, so that's Slambots. Uh, this is a pretty cool game. Uh, it's really simple. You can see some of the other games that this company has made from uh, Retro Dreamer. Uh, Duckers and... Um, hmm. Actually, Duckers is the only one that I've heard about. Uh, Ice Cream Drop is also pretty popular. This is a really cool game. Uh, it 
definitely recommend it uh, if you're looking for something to play you know on the train or just while you're waiting in line somewhere because it's really quick you tend to die a lot uh, but it seems like every time you play you get at least a few coins uh, on that one I got 66 and it was a pretty short round so you know it's always you're making progression so you don't feel like you're wasting your time so this is Slambox from Retro Dreamer check it out <laughs>